Hello, the Pioneer viewers. We continue to bring you the Russia-Ukraine war. The developments in recent days may herald a new phase in the war. The parties trying to increase their war gains are trying to achieve their goals by making different moves. The violence and conflict continues to increase intermittently. Periods of the war are a challenging process for states. Every details needs to be finely planned and implemented. The resources of states are not unlimited and therefore they must be used effectively and efficiently. The states that fail to manage their resources can face major problems as a result. The capability of military units is another factor affecting resources management. A war without a strategy is unthinkable and soldiers capable of implementing this strategy are also necessary. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is now in its second year. While the war is still going on, the potential of the parties are becoming clearer. In recent days, the Ukrainian army has intensified its offensives, and the Ukrainian army seems satisfied with the results of the successful operations against the Russian targets. The Ukrainian army, which usually makes its influence felt in the all regions of the front, make special moves in some regions. The operation organized by the Ukrainian army, especially in the Black Sea region, have been devastating for Russia. The Ukrainian army's encirclement of the Black Sea and its strengthening position there caused Russia to retreat. Moscow's plans for the Black Sea failed for this reason, and moreover, a recent news report pointed to a serious reduction in Moscow's stockpile. While many of its aircraft destroyed as a result of the Ukrainian army's attacks, it remains to be seen what kind of solution Russia will find. Now, if you are ready, let's examine the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's start if you are ready, the pioneer reports. Russia has recently lost many of its airplanes during the attacks by the Ukrainian army. Surprising facts has emerged. After the reduction of a large number of aircraft by the Ukrainian army, the war's attention was focused on the planes. Since the beginning of the war, Ukrainian troops have focused on inflicting maximum damage to the Russian army, both in terms of casualties and cost, and they are getting closer to achieving this. After the Ukrainian army's attacks, it was determined that the Russian losses were quite heavy. As a result of the work of military experts and analysts, a striking fact has emerged. Ukrainian defense official Krylo Budanov made a statement on the subject. In a statement made, it was shared that after the recent losses of the Russian army, it was determined that very few A-50 spy planes remained. The A-50 planes, named mainstay in NATO reports, were used by Russia for an important mission. The planes were involved in missions with the authority of airplanes, early varying and control jets to monitor Ukrainian air defense. The cost of the A-50 aircraft, which flies with approximately 15 military personnel, is quite expensive. Costing over $300 million, the planes are worth a real fortune. A-50 aircraft, which have an important function for the Russian army, were actively used throughout the war. The number of the planes in Russia's possession was sufficient for the round-and-clock surveillance. After the recent attacks on Ukraine, Russia's advantage disappeared. Budanov, the head of the main intelligence directorate of Ukrainian Defense Ministry, provided important information in his statements the other day. Speaking at the Ukraine year 2024 from Budanov reminded the limitations of the Russian military, stating that the Russian army has only six A-50 aircraft left. Budanov said that if the Ukrainian army shoots down one more, all the planes of the Russian forces will be disturbed. If one more Russian aircraft, which is currently on duty 24 hours a day in two shifts, is destroyed, it will be impossible for the Russian army to conduct 24-hour reconnaissance activities. While the Ukrainian army continues its offensives, it is also strengthening its defenses. Last night, an infiltration attempt was made by Russia into the Ukrainian territory. In a statement made by the Ukrainian Air Force, details of the attacks were shared. It was determined that the Russian forces carried out an infiltration and attack attempt with 18 unmanned aerial vehicles later at night. Ukrainian air defense achieved a great rate by destroying 16 drones. The failure of the Russian troops in both offensive and defensive positions become on the agenda on social media. Pro-Russian sources made many comments criticizing the state of the war. Within Russia, existing opposition groups have complained that the difficulties of the war are increasing day by day. 
Another report published in the past days shows that Russia's planes in the Black Sea were disturbed. The reports published by the British Ministry of Defense contain important information. Russia is likely to attack Ukraine from the eastern parts of the Black Sea. Russia, on the other hand, looks hesitant and worried about the situation. Shortly after Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Black Sea emerged as a key battleground between Kiev and Moscow. Ukraine has vowed to retake Crimea, located south of the mainland on Black Sea and controlled by Kremlin's forces since its annexation in 2014. Ukrainian officials have repeatedly emphasized the importance of Crimea. The Ukrainian army does not have a large navy, therefore, it does not have a large ships and naval vessels to encircle the Black Sea. But despite this, it managed to push Russia, which has a navy, back from the region. As a result of the Ukrainian army's efforts with limited means, the Russian navy was withdrawn from the sea. Many large and important ships of the Russian navy were destroyed in the Crimea and the Black Sea. And the most costly losses suffered by the Russian military took place in this region. As a result, Russia, which was reviewing its presence in Crimea, was backed into a corner. The cost of the defending and holding Crimea is also a challenge for Russia. The Kremlin has moved some of its Black Sea assets from the peninsula to Novorossiysk base in Russia's Krasnod region. They believe it will be safer further away from Ukraine's coastline. Alternatively, it is thought that Russia is working on a new Black Sea base in Abkhazia, a separatist region known as part of Georgia. More detailed information is expected to be shared in the coming days. So, what do you think about the news that had discouraged Moscow? What advantages do you think that A-50 aircraft gave Russian troops? What do you think about the Ukrainian army's offensive successes? How do you interpret the war and conflicts in the Black Sea? We care about your opinion. Please share it with us.